Major mud slide here in Los Angeles. Flowing downstream. Stuck for 30 minutes and counting on I-80 at Donner Pass. This is the scene. The snow is really stacking up from the relentless amount of atmospheric rivers that have been hammering the high Sierras this winter. The last several months, atmospheric rivers have been blasting the state of California with heavy rainfall, severe weather, and relentless snow. But what exactly is that? Atmospheric rivers are long, narrow bands in the sky that can transport a ton of moisture. Picture a river in the atmosphere that can extend thousands of miles, and when they make landfall, they can bring prolonged but beneficial periods of rain and snow. But how much is too much? Stuck for 30 minutes and counting on I-80 at Donner Pass. This is the scene. Going on about an hour of waiting here, still at a standstill. Uh, according to what I'm told, there is an accident. We are waiting on a snowplow to come through because no traffic coming through, so the highway is now getting bad. So, I don't know how long we're going to be stuck here. In Los Angeles alone, they've received their yearly rainfall total, and it's not even March, causing massive mudslides while the High Sierra continue to get pummeled by snow, leaving neighborhoods looking more like a maze and bringing traffic to a crawl while strict chain laws and checkpoints are put into place. Four wheel drive. Thanks, bro. And mountain towns like Soda Springs continue to get buried, and this following the historic winter that was 2023. And for residents, visitors, and workers, it's a never-ending routine. Wake up, shovel snow, repeat. So when is all this gonna be over and California be able to dry out? Well, that's something only time can tell.